Hi, si Tings. It's me again, Yuli. Bakit parang ako si Miss Minchi dito? Wait. <laughs> Hi, siblings! It's me again, Yuli, your certified healthcare virtual assistant, social media manager, and content creator. And today is another video request, video recommendation day. So today, I'm going to share to you guys the advantage of using dual monitors. This video was suggested by Miss Hazel de la Cuesta and sabi niya kung pwede ko ba daw ipakita kung paano ko ginagamit yung dual monitors ko. If you're only using one monitor or let's say you're only using laptop, I'm also going to share to you guys tips, tricks, and hacks on how you can manage your laptop one monitor well. For those people na baguhan pa lang sa YouTube channel ko, I am a registered nurse here in the Philippines with roughly 5 years of experience and when I became a mom, doon po nagbago yung parang ako sa buhay. So, I decided to start working from home. Yung advantage lang nung nag-decide ako na mag-start working from home, may na-build na kaming PC sa bahay. And I think I explained everything in this video. The video where I show to you guys our work test. So yung maganda pa doon, yung specs ng computer namin pasok sa hardware and software requirements ni Enrage. Next na gagawin ko na lang is the training na mag-focus sa training and do well on the training. But before we start, shout out muna kina. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell para kapag may bagong video ako, ikaw yung unang makakita. Before we start with our topic, gusto ko lang i-inform sa inyo guys na preference ko po na gumamit ng dual monitor. And nasa sa inyo pa rin po yan kung mas comfortable kayo na laptop lang, hindi dual monitor, or isang monitor lang. But I also want to let you know na gumagamit din po ako ng laptop. Especially kapag na every time na magta-travel kami or every time na extend ng work si husband or nag-overtime si husband, hindi ako makagamit sa desktop. So yung laptop yung ginagamit ko while working. Before we go to the advantage of using dual monitors, I'm going to show you first how to manage your laptop. <laughs> or one monitor well. Ito po yung ginagawa ko para mas ma-organize yung mga documents ko, mga application na ginagamit ko, yung mga website na binibisita ko. Let me start first by giving you guys a scenario. Let's say you're only using one monitor or laptop. And let's say your task is both admin and live scribe. Kahit nga specific task lang, madami ka pa rin pong ino-open na tab. And my scenario here is you're doing both. Yung sa unang client ko, yes, unang client kasi may bagong client na ako ngayon, ang dami ko pong ino-open na tab. The templates, the forms, my sticky notes pa, my notepad, my snipping tools, the Skype or the Zoom, and sometimes nag-open din ako ng mga provider portal for new walk-in patients. Ang dami po talagang tabs na naka-open to be honest. Kaya always pa akong naghahanap up ng ways para mapadali po yung work ko. So first is tinitake note ko po yung most frequently visited websites na always kong binibisita kapag nag-work ako. For example, the EHR or EMR ng client, insurance provider portals, availability, mga ganun. Pinipin ko po siya sa taskbar para every time na mag-open ako ng Google, automatic na siyang mag-load. Other option is by adding the website to your bookmarks. Right-click to your bookmarks folder and dyan makikita mo po lahat ng mga nakasave na bookmarks mo. You can also arrange your bookmarks by dragging them according to your preference kung ano yung unang gusto mong makita sa bookmarks tab mo. Next is the frequently used application. Frequently used applications na ginagamit ko sa work ko, including the part-time, is yung Photoshop and yung Express VPN, I'm Doctor, Skype, Zoom, Adobe Acrobat. Lahat yung tinitake note ko at pinipin ko po sa taskbar. Para hindi na po ako maghanap sa screen ko kung saan yung mga application na ginagamit sa work ko. Pinipin ko po sila lahat sa taskbar. Next is, know your keyboard shortcuts. Na always mo ginagamit sa work mo. Like for example, the copy-paste. You can also look it up on Google para malaman mo ano pa yung mga keyboard shortcuts na pwede mo magamit sa work mo. As for me, kapag isang monitor or is laptop 
up lang yung gamit ko. Sinisplit ko po yung screen. Yung keyboard shortcut is Windows plus left arrow key, Windows plus right arrow key. Next is when you want to switch between tabs and applications na naka-open, alt-tab lang po. Next is if nagko-compare po ako ng documents tapos naka-split po yung screen ko. Kung gusto kong i-maximize yung folder or forms or yung website, Control plus ko lang kung gusto kong i-maximize and control minus if gusto kong i-minimize. Now, let's say naka-maximize po yung document mo at gusto mo siyang i-pan around or remove around. Press and hold your space bar and manonotice mo na yung arrow key mo nagiging kamay siya. Meaning noon, pwede mo na pong ma-move yung document mo using your mouse. Next is your folders. Uh, downloaded and backup documents. So, yung folders ko, nakasiparate po siya. Personal uh, documents ko, uh, sinisave ko siya sa mga personal folders. Sinisiparate ko po yung mga documents ko na nagamit ko sa work ko. Like for example, those templates and the scripts. So, with the backup documents, uh, nilalagay ko po siya sa drive D. After that, sinisave, binabackup ko din po siya sa external drive, especially kapag may mga sudden interruptions, at least man lang, nakasave na siya sa uh, hard drive ko. So, pag-transfer na lang. After a few months, na-realize ko na, why not save it to the company's Google Drive? Just in case na baka masira yung hard drive or mawala ko yung hard drive. And after doing that, no, na sinisave ko yung mga files ko na ginagamit ko sa work ko, mas efficient siya. Yung disadvantage lang kapag isa yung monitor mo, laptop lang yung ginagamit mo, ang dami mo ino-open na website, tabs, windows, tapos uh, application. Especially kapag yung task mo is admin task and uh, live scribe. Well, doing the live scribe, sasabihin ng client mo na, can you please make is prescription, tapos pag a ka, tapos hahanapin mo pa yung saan yung uh, prescription templates mo. Para sa akin, waste of time siya. <laughs> to be honest, nakakalatan po ako and nasistress po ako kapag hinahanap ko pa kung ano yung application, kung saan yung application, kung saan yung template. And for example din, kapag nagko-compare ka ng documents, especially with duplicate uh, documents, kasi compare mo kahit na nag-split screen ka yung forms mo parang ma nami-minimize nami siya tapos mahirap mo ma-compare yung ano yung nasa each forms yun yung ayaw na ayaw ko na i-maximize ko pa siya <laughs> ma-maximize ko pa sa kabila tapos ipapan mo basta nakakalatan talaga ako the next disadvantage is yung pag-copy-paste na mga information. Kung one monitor lang yung ginagamit mo, kinakapi mo yung information sa isang form. Tapos, pag a ka na naman, hahanapin mo naman yung saan mo i-paste yung information. Parang ganun, yung copy-paste, napaka-painful. Hindi siya simultaneous, hindi siya efficient. Parang, ang dami kong nabu-waste na time kapag isang monitor lang yung ginagamit ko. So, that's why I decided na mag-dual monitor. Now, with the dual monitor, yung isang monitor ko, naka-focus lang siya sa production. Kung saan ako nag input ng mga work ko, doon ko nilalagay yung mga apps, yung mga website. So, focus siya sa production. Yung isang monitor naman, focus niya is the communication. For example, doon ko nilalagay yung Skype, yung Zoom, yung email ng client, yung email ko. Doon ko rin nilalagay yung mga templates ko. So, but, Depende po yan sa inyo kung ano yung uh, strategy nyo para mas makasave kayo ng time. When I started using dual monitors, mas simultaneous po siya and mas easy po yung copy-paste, comparing of document. Mas marami po akong nagagawang task, hindi ako nasistress. And napansin ko din na while using dual monitors, mas focused po ako sa production. Mas focused po ako sa task ko. And every time na may magpa-pop up sa communication, automatic ko siyang makikita sa peripheral vision ko. Oh, okay. My new email. Unlike kapag uh, what's this? Isang monitor lang. Hindi mo makikita agad na may bagong email pa lang pumasok or may bagong task na binigay si client sa'yo through email. Hindi mo makikita. So, yun nga. Mas paganda yung dual monitor para sa akin. At depende pa din po yan sa inyo. Now, with using dual monitors, tinanong ko si husband, since mas techy siya no, at saka IT siya, so alam niyo mga bagay na about this stuff. Tinanong ko siya, nagmamatter ba yung hardware ng PC mo or yung laptop mo kapag nag-decide ka na mag-dual monitor? Sabi naman niya, hindi naman daw siya nagmamatter for as long as yung, yung motherboard mo or yung laptop mo, na nakakasupport siya ng at least 
to displays adapters. Example daw is HDMI, uh, DVI, and VGA. So, ang most common use daw ngayon is HDMI. Yung laptop ko po, nakaka-support lang po siya ng HDMI. Thankfully, yung isang monitor ng husband ko, may HDMI po siya na display connector. Para at least, nakaka-dual display ako. I think that's it for today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a lot from this video. And again, if you have more video requests, recommendations, just leave a comment below. And I will try my best na iuna ko yung mga video requests ninyo. Bye, sweetlings. Take care. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell para kapag may bagong video ako, ikaw yung unang makakita. Please follow my other social media accounts. For you to get a chance to be featured on my next video, leave a comment below for your questions and suggestions, or take a screenshot of that comment, share it on your Instagram story, and tag me. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you guys on my next video. Bye sweetlings, take care!